So the other con other update that I have going on, kind of a life update, not really a content update, is the real the reviews is actually kind of a little bit both. So a lot of the Real Housewife reviews will be coming out probably sooner rather than later now. Because um on Friday, um my building, my condominium building that I live, they upgraded our stuff. So now my internet is so much better than what it was before. Because when I tell you how much I've had to like work around the internet not being the greatest in this building, it's been crazy. But now it's a lot better. But because they had to do the upgrade for the whole, all the building, all the units, they also upgraded my cable. So now I actually have cable because my cable wasn't cabling. <laughs> so I just kind of couldn't really use it. And um, I, did, was, I don't watch cable enough to really care about it. But now, especially since I am doing these reviews, it would be very beneficial and helpful if I actually have cable. And now I do. And the reason I'm sharing that is because now these reviews can come out earlier because I have Bravo now. Um, so, but for the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City review, that's still going to come out when it does because I want to actually review the uncensored version, which is on Peacock only. And then I think even if I was to do Real Housewives of, um, of um, Orange County, I'm going to do the same thing too because I believe they're another one of the franchises that will give you an air footage that is exclusive to Peacock. So, yeah. Anyway, so that was a little bit of another update that I have going on. Uh, oh, yeah, I got to keep going soon. Okay, so off the housewives. Um, the other thing that I've been kind of like going, trying to figure out is, and I'm sorry, my allergies, y'all already know. I, I already know how much I, I have to keep saying that. But, yeah, the allergies are allergying. Um, but, anyway, so... The other update or other thing that I've been trying to go back and forth on is, do I go to see Jan Jackson again or not? Because she's actually coming back to Chicago this summer for the second leg of her tour. And it's at the right venue this time. It's at the United Center. And that, for me, is actually the true bucket list to see her where she actually belongs. At the United Center. Like any other arena because she's been to other places in chicago before she's been like to the at chicago theater i don't know if she's done all state or not but like the united center for those who are are not familiar that's like where the big people are at it's the united center the only exceptions like your taylor swift and beyonce's are going to be at soldier field which is even bigger and that's like a stadium tour but like for your other main artists, the United Center is where you should be at. And for her especially, because she is literally a living legend, I want to see her there. <laughs> so, and Janet, for those who don't know, she's like my favorite. Like, period. <laughs> like, she's who I grew up with. She was the dance routines I would practice. She was someone who... I even thought I wanted to be in the entertainment industry because of her, like, Janet, <laughs> okay, Janet, like, I auditioned for a record deal because of Janet, like, Janet, um, didn't get the record deal, clearly, I was really young when I did that, too, that's crazy that my parents let me do that, but, yeah, <laughs> um, for those who followed some of my other videos, if you guys hear some of the other things I've done in my past, it's kind of, it's a little weird. Like, people are just like, I don't know. Like, my path right now, and I'm saying like a lot, but my path right now is not what I envisioned. I don't even know what I envisioned my path to be. But I imagine this year I'm going to be reflecting a lot because this is like my milestone year. So I've been trying to figure it out. This is good. I just want to make, I, I wanted to keep it cute and simple. So, okay, that's done. Um, but yeah, so 
I have like, I live in the city. I'm independent. I um have a, a pretty decent corporate job outside of this job. I mean, outside of this, because this isn't really a job. This is more of a passion thing. Hoping it could eventually become a job. Hopefully, eventually it can be monetized for this. Um, but I also need to have more time to put in more work to do that. And I don't know if... I really have that concerning the fact that I'm really trying to work on more of my fitness goals again and my running goals and also my life goals. There's so much stuff. There's always just a lot of things. Oh my gosh. And I think I messed around and okay, God. Lately, because I've been wearing so many earrings, my ear been kind of not been happy with me so that's why putting this earring in a little is a little bit of a struggle today ah there we go got it i should probably order my lift soon because i gotta get going um oh so by the way this is how my hair looks Decent, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna clean up my edges real quick. Got the edge control it down. By the way, this is the edge control I use. I love it. Um, this is. So far, of all the edge controls I've been using, I've had the best results with this stuff. And it smells good, too. So, this is the edge control I've been using. And this is how, I'm gonna, this is how my hair is going to be for the day, too. So, I may not even need the earrings because no one's going to see it. Although, I might pull part of my hair back. We'll see. I kind of want to do, I don't know. We'll see. I think I'm due. Yeah, we'll do a little bit of a, do a little bit of a variation. Oh yeah, I think we're going to do a variation. Because I do kind of want to show the earrings off a little bit. So I'll do a little cute little variation here and put this up. There we go. This is cute. It's given what needs to be gave for the most part. And I could just put this in here. <sighs> but yeah, I'm going to brunch in a little bit, which I'm pretty excited about. Because um, for those who also have not been following, this whole entire week with it being sub-zero, I didn't go anywhere for like the whole week. I did not leave my apartment because I work remotely so you know my regular job work remotely so I don't have to leave so therefore I did not I stayed home Friday was like my first day out <laughs> like almost a week so it's a little wild that that's where we're at with it and right now I'm just you know oiling the hair getting all the spots all right that's good. Child, I'm never on time. Anyway, that does conclude the video. It is going to be short and sweet. I knew I wasn't going to be doing too much. I'm going to put some lipstick on and call it good, and then I'm out the door. But I got one of my lift. And, um, oh, you already know what lipstick I'm going to wear. It's going to be the red, because I always wear red. So um, for those who want to see that, actually, you know what? I'll just do it real quick. <laughs> Yeah, I got an order.
my lift and get out the door. Anyway, that's it. <laughs> and so, yeah, that does conclude the video for today. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of the content. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melon and Nostalgic Runner. And yeah, this was short and sweet. Not much to it. I just kind of wanted to do some small talk and say hi to you all. Um, and please like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of the content. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melon and Nostalgic Runner. And okay, don't forget to watch um, my Real Housewife reviews, the Get Fit With Me series where you go outside, just like what this is, and also seeing things differently. I'll have more of those up soon, too. And then I also have a review for Young, Famous, and African. I think season three is going to be coming up soon, so I'll be reviewing that in the future as well. But anyway, bye now.